Hello YouTube, this is a 4 Grember run of Depths of Jealousy. The reasons I want to do this run is that uh, Grember is ideal for the first two dungeons of Archfiend of Restraint, and I want to see if it could work for Depths of Gluttony as well. And Grember is both fun to play and watch. I'm Arn, lecturer of Team Mag, Adrian Arn on Gayfax, and on Patapon Zoo. Hello YouTube, um, in this video we're trying to uh, resist being burned into steak. We're we're passing the four floors. Hopefully, <laughs> let's see in this vid. Ruby. Um, uh, my hero's name is Ruby. My PSN ID is player 50 and my YouTube channel is Woohoo Yay. I'm not in the video, but I'll be talking in, during the video. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, my name's Malivius, and my hero name's Noir. Um, yeah, that's it. So, on this floor, we have a bunch of doors. We have fire pits in between these doors, and we have some enemies. And the doors here are um, pretty unique, I'd say, because these doors are doors that when you jump up to open them, they will close by the time you hit the ground again. So if you don't use Grember, you basically have to use another uber hero, another friend, to help you hold open the door constantly while you're um, getting like past it. Otherwise the door will just come back down by the time like you land back to the ground. So that's the benefit with Grember, is that he can open doors and then move through them on the next measure. And then you do a pata pata song and then you'll move right through and it's a lot easier. And so here you can see that um, we're not using Peerless Deer, so we got hit by Poison and Sleep Status, but uh, we were able to recover by using the Party Song and then chaining that with the uh, Attack Song, which is one of my favorite techniques and one of the reasons why, if it's not um, Depths of Gluttony, I always use Bunny Hoods on Grember. And most people think, why would you use that on like a, like a melee class, like something you use to hit someone? I'm thinking, well, if you can chain together those two attacks, and if you use um, hero mode to move past brush fires, it doesn't become a problem. And then you can get all that benefit of um, like basically having crit plus almost on Grember while not having to suffer any of the drawbacks too much because you have strategies for dealing with the fire. Mm, as you can see in this video, um, some Grenburns are being burned from the fire pit. And what's recommended for this video is, is if you bring a bald cap or fire resistance armor. As you can see, all the Grimbers are not using uh, peerless sheep. As um, this dungeon is full of fire traps and um, any kind of fire attack or flame could um, KO you. So it's not a good idea to bring um, peerless sheep for this dungeon. One of the mistakes I made in this video is that I always get too close to the baby dragons, and if you get too close to them, they like poke you <laughs> and like stagger you, and then you have to chain the party song with the attack song to get going again. And then that's why I was so slow um, getting through here. And then Kishin had to help me out by killing this death. But anyway, yeah, don't get too close to them before you attack because if you are far away and then you tr and then you trigger the hero song you'll just brush up against them and they'll still poke you but since you have full backbone complete or you should like if you're attempting this video then the backbone will protect you and then you won't get staggered and then you'll just kill him hmm. all right so we finished the first floor on the second floor, we have bigger fire pits and fire enemies. We have fire salamanders and we have fire dragons. And the fire salamanders are going to keep coming at you until you destroy their hut. And there are, I think, two huts on this level that you need to destroy. And the only way you can destroy the huts is by going through the fire and killing all the salamanders and that's one of the, bi the big problems that people have with this level is that there's so much fire that 
you start to lose too much health. And if you don't have Peerless Tree, then you're going to die, not because like the damage was too much at once, but the damage over time was too much. So Peerless Tree is really necessary if you're trying to do this level, even if you're just trying to do a regular run, not a challenge run. Um, as you can see in this vid, Peerless Ship, Peerless Sheep. <laughs> Peerless Sheep is re not recommended as there are a lot of fire enemies here and fire pits. Oh, and there's the hut. <laughs> and I'm the guys who keep on running around. You see, this sage or this dungeon really has high burn rate, so. Uh, if you don't have a bald cap or any type of immunity, I recommend about 100 plus burn resist. Yeah. On on this level, I I'd, I'd say even higher. Normally, if it's not DOG or Archfiend of Restraint, I usually recommend 150, because at 150, you're almost never gonna catch fire. 150 is good. On this level, since you have so much fire constantly, I re recommend around 200, and 200 is going to be good, and when you have 200, you really don't need the bald cap, and it's really handy when you're like not doing a challenge run, because if you get like a Ice Helm IC, which has the um, increased um, burn resistance, you can use a Kibata with like just like your standard set, like your Aldemonium Shield, your Bullgram or your Pawn Biscuit and your um, Stagger Lance or your Ice Lance or whatever Lance you prefer and for your helmet you can just use that Ice Helm and even though that's the only Ice Armor that you have it's still going to be enough to push your uh, fire resistance to 200% and then that's going to prevent you from catching on fire and then you won't need to worry about um, uh, not having any like damage resistance to fire because if you equip the bald helm you won't catch fire but you will still take um, a lot more damage to fire than the ice helm because the ice helm provides less uh, resistance but it provides much higher um, damage resistance so you won't get damaged as much even though you might still catch on fire it doesn't really make much sense but that's how it works <laughs> now as you can see the baby dragons are Staggering us all at the same time. As the Grimbers are marching into into the fire pits, um, it's a good idea just to wait for the salamanders to blow up so you can advance. And if you don't, well, you'll catch on fire or take heavy damage. Yeah, because there's nothing really you can do against the fire salamander explosions in here because you can't use peerless sheep because there's so much fire you don't really have much defense on grember and even if you do you're going to be too slow and then if you do have that much defense you're going to uh, suffer a loss in the reduction of ice damage because if you're having that much defense you're probably using tabanos and that's not really um, designed to take fire damage so you're really best off using an ice helm or um, ice resist the set skill and then staying away from the salamanders when they explode because until they explode you can't really go anywhere there's nothing else you can do so we're just racing to the door right now <laughs> All right, on the third level, we meet a familiar enemy. This is the second fight of Rage Wolf, and he's using his doll super weapon again. Though it's a different form, it's an aerial form, and if you've never gotten this far, you may never have seen it. It's not the um, uh, quad quadrupedal like um, earth moving machine that you see um, in the previous fight. He uses one that flies around, 
and it fires missiles at you. And the missiles aren't really a big deal. The only uh, biggest big threat the missiles have is that they will stagger you. And the fire damage isn't really a big deal from them. But what is the big deal is that um, the satellite beacons he sends out, they cover a wide area with fire damage. And if you get caught in them, they'll take away like um, one-fifth of your HP if you have a Great Blade. So they'll take away like 20,000 HP. And that's a lot from one attack. So you can either use Peerless Tree to heal it off as you go. And that's what I do in this video. And I also have Fire Resist. Or if you don't have Fire Resist and you put all those investments into attack, instead what you can do is just dodge. Because it only lasts for, you know, like a split second. It's pretty easy to dodge. It's easier to dodge than um, a Golem Smash. Because the range is much less. And you can be in front of it, like in hero mode. Or you can be behind it in retreat. So you kind of have a lot more options as to how you want to dodge the attack. And even if you do get hit, you can just like stay back at the end like Funky. And just like heal up like charge up and you'll use peerless tree to heal yourself up before you take another dive item. The other thing about Rage Wolf is that he's the only enemy in the game that does not have an HP bar. All the other bosses and all the other mini bosses also have HP bars, but this is a boss that does not. And it pisses me off every single time because I always have my Kibata here on like non-challenge runs. And I'm always like dealing like huge criticals to him. I don't know why I can deal criticals on him. It's not like he's a structure, right? I mean like he's supposed to be in a vehicle that that's like hard. It doesn't have any like soft parts. So it should be criticals um, prevented, but it's not. So I end up using like all these criticals on him. And then like I only see him die like when everyone else has like died from like all his satellite beacon attacks. But that's like just like in co-op. As you can see, the um, this part of the stage just started after you beat Rage Wolf, and this were begins. This is the part where we race to the finish line again. Alright, so on the fourth floor, this level can be tricky if you don't have fire armor because, I mean, um, ice armor, because the fire is going to get you. Um, in this video, we ha you have moving fire pits, which can be a pain. You can either wait for them to pass and party while they're passing, or you can run and try to pass the fire pit. Okay, the flames at the back, even if you wait for them to pass you, um, later on you'll see that they like spawn continuously. So even if this passes you, there'll be another flame at the back to like follow you.
what really gets people mad in this um in this multi stage is that um status effects such as stagger from the Fenriris, sleep, poison, and burn can be a real pain. And you have to be continuously party throughout this um multi stage. As you can see, there's the head of the baby dragon. It kind of looks like a shark. It resembles one. For me, it does. And um, it's poke attack, as AJ Arn said. It's really uh, bad. It also causes knock knockback, and it knocks you back far, like to the beginning of the stage again. As you. Alright, as you can see, the baby dragons are gonna keep coming. And the annoying baby dragons, so then the bigger big, uh, baby dragon is gonna do his um, fire breath or poison breath, whatever you guys call it. And then um, the, the, the reapers or the deaths, they're gonna keep coming until you kill the, the big baby dragon. Even though the baby dragon hits you and you have a mune or, um, or deer or whatever, they still poison you. So... You gotta watch out for that, and his pokes are really strong. Uh, as you can see, the baby shark dragon is dead. Uh, the there's still some enemies, however, and this is pretty much considered the boss stage of the multi deaths of Gluttony. <laughs> uh, 
uh, thanks for all the tre treasure I caught. Um, this stage was actually pretty fun. It 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 was long, however, um, and pretty challenging. But with the right things, like the right of skills, you could complete it in dash. Um, I want to say thanks to AJ for letting me speak in this um commentary, and um. Just remember, don't use peerless sheep for this dungeon. There's mainly <laughs> fire pits. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, thanks for um, watching. And Aron for letting us play uh, such a fun run. And, yeah, that's it. See you. See you yeah. later.